comes to the wisdom of God. Amen. Okay? Amen. And even our worldly wisdom That's right. doesn't even come close, you know, to, to the wisdom of God. Amen. There may be many of us that walk in this land that may appear to be wise, but our wisdom is nothing but vanity yes. because that's what the Word of God says. Yes. So, yes. no, I can't say that I can explain to you every parable, every symbology that is used in the Word of God. No. And that's okay. I don't need to. Amen. But I believe in the God. I believe, in, I believe in an all-wise God. I believe in an all-wise God. I believe in an omnipotent God. Yes. I believe in an omniscient God. Yes. And I believe a God that will not let anything go wrong. I believe in a God that will not let anything go wrong. Yes. God that will not let anything go wrong. Yes. God will not lead us astray. Yes. Now, you will see, not you lead us astray. You say God is omnipotent. Yes. Yes. He is all-powerful. No, no. He is all-powerful. Yes. All he can do what he, what he pleases. He is yes. all-powerful. Can he do everything? He is accordance with Can he do everything? Can he do everything? Except lie. Huh? He cannot lie. He cannot? He cannot lie. He cannot lie. But now can he do anything? He can conquer people, nations. He cannot lie. He can lie. overcome. If he wants to. Right. And if he fails because of your heavy armored cars and tanks, if he tells you that, look, I couldn't prevail against the Americans because of the super, super armaments. For example. For example. You see? What? Like he was supposed to help us, you know, God Almighty, for example. But now, we, he, God himself, he failed to prevail against the Americans because they had laser guns and they had, you know, super tanks. Now, in that case, we know he is not omnipotent. Whoa. And if, if that is the situation, that we say God is on our side and God is going to help us and God tells us, I will help you. But in the end, I find God failed us. And the reason given in your book is that because the opposition had stronger armaments, then we'll say, look, this God is not omnipotent. Okay. Am I? God is on the God is right. on the So now yes. you have a little patient. I show you. Please show I me. show you. Mark chapter 10, verse 27. Also Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. For God, now you don't have to check that because he says, with God all things are possible. You must have read that before. Oh, yes. With God Surely. all things are possible. Yes. You don't have to go and check up now. No. Yeah. If you want to, you may. No, go okay. ahead. Finish reading. Right. Right. Please. Right. So we accept that statement. We say, with God all things are possible. Now, Judges, chapter 1, verse 19, that you can open, which contradicts that. Book of Judges, chapter 1, verse 19. Book of Judges, chapter 1, verse 19. You got it, but I see you got it pretty fast. I'm there. Yes, I'm there, you are pretty fast. I would like to hear you read that. Oh, it says, And the Lord was with Judah, uh -huh. and he drave out the inhabitants of the mountain, uh -huh. but could not drive out the inhabitants of the valley because they had chariots of iron. Right. There it is. So God couldn't do it. He drove out the inhabitants of the mountains, mm -hmm. but the inhabitants of the valley, he couldn't, he couldn't, God couldn't, because they had chariots of iron, they had armored cars, tanks. See, so they got faith. How will you explain that? This is a parable. What blue parable is that? What is a parable about that? And God failed because they have chariots. This is telling you because they have chariots of iron. They have armored cars, tanks. They have tanks. You said he can do anything. But he can't. If you've got armored cars and tanks on your side, you know the Somalis, they can't prevail against the Americans because the Americans have got helicopter gunships. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, it's, you can say well, the Lord was with the Somalis, but then the God failed. But if your book says the God failed because of the American having, you know, I don't, I, I don't read that as saying the Lord failed. What does it say? It says, and the Lord was with Judah. Right. That means He was helping him. And that means He was helping Judah. The Lord was with Judah, uh -huh. and He drove out the inhabitants. Right. Judah right. drove out right. the inhabitants. Who, who God, 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 God did all that? Judah. Judah. Yeah, yeah. No. And he. Judah. All right. So He was with Judah. With the and help the Lord, of God. And the Lord was with Judah. Right. And he drove out the inhabitants of the mountains. But Judah, now understand something. See, all, with that, again, that didn't say that the Lord failed. It, it the did Lord not say, was with. The see? Lord was with Judah. Right, right. Now, if Americans, it was, and and if it was not no. God's will for Judah to drive out the inhabitants of the Lord so, you know, so was the what did the Lord do? Did He say, tell Judah, Judah, Judah said, look man, it is not my will that you drive out the inhabit inhabitants of the valley. Did He say that? If you Americans are with Israel, mm -hmm. you know, you're helping like a religion mm -hmm. son. Okay. And 
your illegitimate child of America, Israel, is your child, you know, your ill begotten son. <laughs> now you are Israel. I'm Israel. You see, at every turn, when the Muslims, the Arabs, when they go to war against Israel, it is America who's fighting us. In 1973, when Sadat broke the Barlet line, he crossed into the Sinai. 73. Yes. And Israel was got by its throat. Yes. And America came in direct intervention through the Azores with men and material in the battle. 1973. I don't know what you were doing then. Maybe schooling. Yes. 1973. Yes, sir. Young man. Right. You are, you are young boy. <laughs> 1973, with their Air Force yeah, yeah. and all the machines and all, they got direct into the battle against the poor Arabs. And the Arabs were beaten once more again. Right. So he says, now you see, that because of America, the Israelis have an upper hand upon us, because of the Americans. Okay. Same thing now, you were with Israelis. But now if you fail, we say the Americans fail. The Americans failed the Jews because you are with them. They are like your own illegitimate son. But now, once you fail, we say now the Americans failed. Mm -hmm. When Israel is defeated, we say America was defeated. Why like Vietnam? Huh? That's no, Vietnam. Man, no. so, yeah. That means now you Americans were defeated. You see, you can't say the South Vietnam. Okay, so you say God failed. Right. So God if, if God is with you and He helped you to defeat one, but He didn't help you to defeat the other, that means God failed you. It may not have been his expression. We also that that's what the book says. That's what no, your book it says. says and, and it says that... On the very face of it. It says that... It, but could not drive out the inhabitants. Could not drive out. Could he not drive, drive out. Chariots of iron. Uh, right, because... Why, why, why? Because they're chariots of iron. That's the correct. easy meat was easy meat for you. But if the opposition has got also the atom bomb, like the Russians, then you can't defeat them. That's what it means. Then he said, now look, God failed you. If God is with you, and if, you, if he lets you down against the Russians, then we say that God failed you. God failed you. Right. Then, then you are told here that you said he is a merciful God. Yes, he is. God is a merciful God. He is yes. compassion. Merciful. Yes, he is. God of mercy, this God of mercy, yours in the Bible, he tells people not to look into the ark. And 50,070 persons look into the ark. And they were all killed. How many? 50,070 people were killed for looking into a box. That's mercy. In, in your army, if your commander tells you, in your commander tells you that any of you, you disobey me, you'll be caught martialed. Now, the right type of commander, the just commander, is the first guy who makes that mistake, say, hey, John! Sorry, sir, I forgot. Still, if he wants to, court martial you, we can still court martial you. If he wants to forgive you, he can forgive you. But the first guy who makes a mistake, he pulls him up. Am I right? In your army. Not always. Not always. Then same. what? He allows you, he allows you, and two, and ten, and fifty, and hundred, and thousand, and fifty thousand, and seventy people to make the same mistake and then court martial you all. Is that the work of a loony or of a sane person? Your commander, is he sane or is he a loony? I want to know. If he allows 50,070 Americans, soldiers, to make the same damn mistake, and then court martial the whole lot, or shoot them all, fire in line, all of you, mm -hmm. massacre. Mm -hmm. Is this a sane guy in charge of the army? Is he sane, according to your, your thinking? Oh. <coughs> is he sane or a loony? Can I advise you to take it away? What is that? I, I cannot, you cannot compare us with God, because no. God is too, too much for me, no, no. I'm too low. No, 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 no. You are not too, you can never reach his height. Never. You can never so reach his height. If, right? if he will, but he now, will, no, no, no. he will give the light in the end. No, but now the reasons, you see, Adam and Eve, they sinned. He couldn't forgive, he couldn't forgive, he threw them out of the garden. Okay. He forgave. Right. He forgave. He forgave. The people of Lot, they sort of each other. God destroyed them. Right? There's a reason. They did this evil, God destroyed them. Now you go and look into a box and he doesn't stop the first guy because to look into a box you've got to go single file. And single file will take a week for 50,070 persons to pass to pass a box and see 
it will take a week. You can't just.